Hi, this is Pam, Pamela Gropey Art. Today we are going to paint this little signboard palette plank, whatever you want to call it, at, with strawberries. So get your paints and let's get started. So please, if you're new here on my YouTube channel, please subscribe and hit that little bell notification. That way you will get informed every time I put up a new video. Let's get painting. I have this fun little plank. It's, it's called a whitewash palette plank by Laura's Crafts and I found this at Walmart. I thought this would be a fun surface for many of you that you can readily get. Um, it was under five dollars. We are going to use these colors. These are all plaid folk art multi-surface. Cardinal red, some engine red. For the greens I have citrus green and thicket. And for highlighting or even undercoating on a dark surface, I will use wicker white. And dioxazine purple will be my shadow color. I do not have a bottle here available. But let's see, what else? I oh, and the brushes. I have a number 12 flat. I have a number 8 flat. And I have a number 6 flat. And these should work just fine. I could also use a 10 uh, flat and I'm thinking I might go with a filbert this for some leaves too. We'll see. I may be fine with um, the regular one. Also a liner. Now I transferred my design on here. You may not be able to make it out very well because it's on the lighter side, which is what I want. Um, many times I would just kind of paint in the strawberries without a pattern, but I, I know a lot of people like to start with a pattern. It's very helpful. Uh, I will include the pattern. Because this surface is uneasy, uneven, and I don't mean uneven, in, I mean the colors on it are uneven. See, it has the wood showing through and the white on top. I want to undercoat so that my strawberries don't look striped. Red paint, craft paints, um, or even professional artist acrylics, many of them are not opaque and you need to undercoat or um, have a first layer that helps them become opaque. Now I'm going to use wicker white to undercoat. You could also use um, maybe an orange depending on how you want your strawberry to come out but I'm just going to use the white to make it easy. And so I'm just using my number 12 flat I'm loading it with white paint I don't know if you need to see me do that. Let me see if I get that in the camera. Where the wet paint is. Pull back a little bit. And here I'm just loading my brush with the white. And then I'm going to undercoat the strawberries. And I'm not going to try to be perfect. Strawberries come in all shapes and sizes and are not even on both sides are symmetrical. They just have funny shapes. And if it helps you, put out a few strawberries and kind of look at them as you paint. And that'll give you an idea of how differently shaped they are. And I'm keeping that a little separate so I know there's a division there. We'll shadow that to make it look like one is going over top of the other. This one, the leaves, see that's the top, and this is the bottom of this one, and this is the top of this other one. So we're just kind of basing in the shapes. Because it's so light, I really need to find the pattern that I use for that. Haha, <laughs> there it is. Sorry about the crinkle. And right here, I'm going to have to move my piece because I'm coming at it at an odd angle. And this is kind of going off this way. It's not going straight down. It's at a different angle. And there we have that. So... This one, this is the bottom, this is the top. This one, this is the top, and then the bottom. 
and then this this is the bottom and here's the top it's kind of going off at an angle so we're going to let those dry and then we'll come back and um, I might put a few more over here while uh, base paint in some while we're letting the, those dry so here's the white that's pretty much under coated and then I went and did some in a pale yellow what did I do it yeah it's called pale yellow just to see how it would play out and you always like a little differences in your painting it gives them interest I am going to start with cardinal red I have it here on my palette just going to load my brush because it's going to take a couple coats so even though there is an undercoat I'm just going to kind of go with the shape of the strawberry and fill in just kind of following the outline of the berry now on this one because it's a little bit darker I'm touched in the dioxazine purple and I'm just going to kind of blend it out I don't want it quite that dark just blend it into the red and then come right along here just to give it a little hint of a shadow right there now on my pattern this strawberry is laying over top of this one so later on I will shadow over there too but for right now I'm just going to continue I just loaded more um, cardinal red on here pretty much out of the dioxazine purple which is fine I just kind of wanted it on that shadow area now this will have the greens on it so much of the shadow may not show depending on how much but even under the leaves it will show it will have it a little bit shaded there I may add a little more just to bring it down a little bit as far as the shadowing and right along the top there and I'll let that dry so I'm just going to go back into more engine red cardinal red sorry and I might I could get a smaller brush for this but I think I can do this with the larger brush as long as I'm careful and I'm just doing the outline of the strawberry and it, you see how it overlaps this berry and if I want, would like to which I do I'm going to come in and just touch into some of that dioxazine purple work it into my brush and I'm just going to come along here this may get painted over some with the next coat but it will have that hint of shadow there now don't overwork it because it'll start lifting the paint so I am going to do this little strawberry and I saw some of that purple on there which is fine because I'm going to go around this one and I want that shadow and I'm being careful to watch because it's got a narrow end and now I, I don't need shadow so I'm going to reload with more cardinal red and it kind of works out most of it and that yellow is still a little wet but that's okay it will all work in the end okay so I will now do another do this berry here and just follow the contours now this is the cardinal red the only difference between these and these are the undercoating I had undercoated with the pale yellow and put a little bit of the white in the center and this one doesn't really have any shadow because it's far enough away you could shadow it just to give an indication of it being further back if you wish but I didn't and there you have that first layer of the cardinal red it might be dried enough up there a little bit to add so um, it's looking pretty good and I'm going to rinse out my brush and I'm gonna let that dry and I probably will come over it with some more cardinal red and or the engine 
red. I may put some of the engine red in the center to pull it forward to make it more rounded looking. But for right now, I'm going to let this layer dry. I got all the way through that and forgot to turn my microphone on. Sorry. I will redo it. And all I did was I came in. Now this is still wet. And I have the um, Cardinal Red and the Engine Red together on the palette here. Now let me see if I can move this over a little bit and the camera over to show you. Let me move the camera just slightly. And all I'm doing is dipping my brush into both. The, the variation in color is very slight. The Engine Red on the inside, the Cardinal Red on the outside, and I'm just blending it in together. And then I am going over the strawberries with the Cardinal Red on the outside and the Engine Red on the inside and just kind of blend it in there. We're just going over it to give it more opacity and just, it's, it's getting hot in here in my studio, so my paint is drying very quickly. And just filling in. Now you can add a little bit of highlighting with some yellow or orange. And I would just do that maybe a little bit in the center. Not a lot. You could still see the shadowing along there and along there where I had the strawberries on top of each other, even along there. Let me see. Let me where the strawberry is sitting underneath. But go back to the engine red and the cardinal red and just go over. Now these areas that are heavily shadowed, they will still show through since it's not opaque. So the shadowing, all it will diminish it slightly, but you want that, and that's why you get that shadowing pretty dark right at the beginning. So all I'm doing is go over it with the coat of the engine and the Cardinal Red double loaded on my brush. We're going to let this dry and we're going to come back in and add the foliage and some details. Now the strawberries are all dry and painted in and now we're going to double load with the greens, the small, uh, this is a number six flat, Donna Dewberry by Plaid Folk Art. And I'm just going to double load. I guess I should show you so it's not everybody knows what I mean by double load. Dipping the two corners in and I'm just working it in. And you'll see how the dark goes to the light and kind of blends to the center. And then we'll just take it to our piece. Let's see, I'm thinking I'm going to do this one first. Now the stem is going to come out like that, just up and over. If you think you need to get a little more paint, reload your brush the same way you did before. And I'm just going to put it on the chisel edge, press down, pull, lift. Press down, pull, lift. Press down, pull, lift. And you do the same here. And I'm leading with the light, trailing with the dark. And I'm just doing those little strokey leaves there. Now, if you did it with a filbert, and I had a filbert here, what did I do with it? It would make them a little bit more rounded on the back end, but since they're overlapping, it really doesn't matter. This is a filbert, but it might be too large. Let me see. Let me clean it out. It has soapy stuff in it. And see if this one will work. It might be old and yucky, but I'll double load it this exact same way. You see, it's double loaded. There, see, you notice it's a round brush or uh, filbert. And I'm just going to try to go, let me see, this one has a few peeking out from underneath this. Press, pull, lift. I might have to go over it with another coat to get the color right. And press and lift. And there you have the leaves there. You can see the red through it very well. So I would come back in with another coat, just go over top of that. And this one has smaller ones, so I'm going to be very gentle with my pressure. Let 
reloading as I need to. And I'm just going to go like this, and like this, and then I won't use this. This does not have a chisel edge, so I'll come in with a liner or my flat brush, which does, does, does have a chisel edge to do my stem. And there you go. You can probably see on there I didn't follow the um, tracing. That's okay. I'll just erase that with my um, Magic Rub eraser. And because it just, it, it must have been off when I transferred it because the leaves shouldn't be way up there. They should be right on the strawberry. So I think I will find my smaller filbert. This one to me is a little, well, maybe not. Let me look. I know I'm going all over the place, aren't I? I dither a lot. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Doing the same type of leaves. And they seem to be not flowing well. So this might be an overused brush and I need to go to a different brush. I'm rinsing it out. Let me find that other brush. Be right back. Well, I did find my other filbert. This one is a Royal Majestic number no. four filbert, double loaded, even though it looks a little gloppy on there. Uh, and I'm just working it in. And then I'll do this one. Let's see. This one. I'm doing the same type, just press, drag, lift. And you walk around the camera to come around this side. Press, drag, lift. And then I will do the stem with the chisel edge of the flat brush. Like I said, I will have to go over those to make them more opaque. The citrus green just wasn't very opaque. And this drag. How do I want this one to go? Uh, up here. Oh, I didn't do those. So let me do that one. I think I'll try it with a small brush again. Just do it on there. Let's see. I'll start with the center one. Press lift. Press lift. Press lift. Reload. Let me see. This one, I guess it will overlap it just because they're stacked on one another. Now, like I said, you could do the stem with a flat or with a liner, and I have a flat available right here, so I will just go over that. And there is your strawberries. I'm trying to see, did I put those leaves in the right place? I guess I did. Sometimes I have to talk my way through it. Okay, so, is this green dry? Okay, I'm going to go over that with another coat. And I am going to double load my brush. I'm going to go ahead with the flat just because I have it in my hand. And I'm just going to pull over top of these other stem leaves, whatever they're called. You know what I didn't put in was leaves. I'm really struggling right now. So we can come back in with these two colors and add some leaves. I like typically to put the leaves down first because that set some behind the berries. Well, that one didn't turn out, did it? Let me dry off my brush and add a little bit more of the darker green up there. Yes, more better. Bring the stem up. Let 
You don't have to be perfect. I never am. And it all works out. Comes out in the wash. Reload if you need. Okay, so I see a spot that I need to touch up here. Red is showing through. That would be very dark there because that's where the <clears throat> apex of all the little leaves are on top of the berry. And this one would too, since it's coming out from under that one, to make sure it's all covered. Okay, there are your leaves, or your, yeah, the tops of the berries. What do they call those holes? Okay, now I'm going to go back to my number 12 for the leaves. And I just do my typical leaf in, like I did on here, and it looks fine. The star of the show is the strawberries. So I'm just going to go right here, and you see how could this berry kind of came out the lines, and it's kind of got this weird little bump there. I am going to go right over that and have the leaf start right there and just wiggle and bring in, make it a leaf. Then I'll go back over that. And if you go to my how to paint leaves post, I give a more detailed lengthy tutorial on these leaves. So then I'm just going to start right at the edge. Like I said, normally I uh, like to start with the leaves and then paint the strawberries on top, but I didn't do that this time. So this is going to show you that you can do it either way. So dark on the outside, light on the inside as I did that scallop, and I just moved over. I did not flip my brush so that the dark is next to the light, and that makes the seam for you. You could also pull in a seam. And you see how it went right over that spot? So. It just kind of obscured that mistake on that strawberry. Now, over here it would have been easier to put one underneath here than this on top. That would have been a nice effect, but we're not going to worry about that. So, I'm going to just do some little stroke leaves, which is just put my brush double loaded down on the chisel edge at an angle, press and lift, and then press and lift, press and lift, and then you just drag in your seam. And there you have some simple little stroke leaves. And you can add a leaf down here if you want. You can even go over top of that strawberry to make it go behind. It's all in how you want it to look. It doesn't have to be perfect. And it just gives an illusion. I'm looking at it now if you're wondering what I'm doing, just to see what's what. Let's see over here, you know, I'm going to go ahead and put another design here, and I'm going to do it with the leaves underneath so you can see how I put leaves underneath of them. And so you see, I have kind of drawn in, I just used some of the floating medium and a touch of red just to kind of draw in where I'm going to have my strawberry. And many times I paint that way. I don't always use a pattern. So I was just showing you that. Now I did the leaf. I want to show you how I can put the leaves in first and then paint the strawberry on. Now I paint, as I said before, is drying on my palette. I need to t stop and take time to get my Stay Wet palette out. But there I'm just going to finish up this leaf and you notice I kind of went over where that strawberry is and I'll show you how to take care of that later. A leaf there and I think I'll do a loof over on this side. And it can go off the edge. That doesn't matter. I'm going to reach across here. And 
and there we have that leaf and you can do like a little flat leaf there so there we have the leaves painted in so while those are drying I think I'll add a leaf underneath those two well these two are drying and I'll just kind of add a leaf. I don't want to go over top of that too much. You can do a little bit and just pull in some of that and I might pull in a few little of the stroke leaves. just to add interest and this one may have some up top maybe I'll go this way with it like I said the leaves are not the star of the show now that one's dry and I'm going to give it a little bit of shadowing and what I do to shadow it is I use some burnt umber mixed with my thicket. So I mixed just a little bit of thicket with, this ended up being bark brown. I could not find a real brown, um, my burnt umber. And I just mixed it and I made like a dark brownish green. And I'm just gonna go along right here to give it a little bit of shadow as if it's underneath that strawberry. You just faintly, you don't want it to be too dark at all. And you might even think it's too light, but just give it time. Let me see if this is dry already, pretty much. So I'm gonna do the same with it. And I'm just using the corner of the brush with that. It's almost a glaze rather than actual paint and it's just very lightly glaze that. It gives it just a hint of shadow to kind of send it to the back and this one right here could also use some. Now mine's drying on the palette because of the heat in here. So I'm getting some it wet. Got it wet with a little water and I'm just using the corner because I got a lot on the brush and I don't want it to be too much and there you have it another way you could do that is um, to put a shadow under there before you put the leaf on there but that's a whole nother lesson and we won't go there sorry for even mentioning it so you can also shadow beneath the leaves if you wanted to give them a little shadow. And like I said, it's like a glaze. It's not really, it's not full strength. It's like very fluid. You could use the um, floating medium, which works really well for this. And even here, you can put a little shadowing in there with that that um, glazing color, which is, I said, real brown with the thicket mixed together. It's just a very neutral, almost muddy color, but I have it very thin. And I'll show you how very thin that is. It's not opaque at all. And I, I keep brush mixing it, it's, so it's never the same color. So it just kind of adds that shadow that gives a little bit of dimension. So I'm going along the lower edges. Then I'll pick up a little more and just shadow along there. And underneath the leaf here, maybe underneath this strawberry. You notice it's, I'm running out of paint on the brush, but that's okay. It's just putting down a hint of color. My brush is pretty dried, so I'm gonna dampen it before I pick up more. 
it's just like I said, a glaze of color. Sorry, I hope it didn't bang that on. And you can also put a little glaze under the leaves of, or the, what do they call that? The hull of the strawberry. All right, let's do the seeds of the strawberry, the little seeds. Now I have, uh, this is a very small liner. See, this is a low coronal 10-0 liner. It makes a very tiny tip, very tiny tip. And I'm going to go in first with the thicket. And you can see I'm loading the brush and I'm pulling it to a point. You just want to touch on the point. And I'm going to go along the edges. And I'm kind of curving. You see I'm going along. I'm following the curve of the strawberry. And then I'm going to come between. I don't line them up. You don't want them lined up like little soldiers. This one will be a little bit straighter. And this side, I'll just go that way. I don't have it on there good. I keep dampening my brush, not a lot. I load it with the dark paint. Just barely touch. I'm getting a lot of glare here, so I'm not able to see exactly what I'm doing. Less is more. You can always go back and add. So don't get too carried away. See how it's making the little seeds. Now we've got the dark green on, which that was the thicket. I'm going to rinse my brush and I'm going to go into the citrus. And I'm working my brush in it. See, it's got it. And I've got it thinned. That way it will help me to keep it tiny because that this is going to be just a highlight on the darker green. And you're going to just touch. And I try to put them on one side so it's not on. So it's kind of like a highlight on the seeds. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do so I can um, paint the strawberry on top of the leaves. So first, I'm going to do the undercoating in the white. I could go over the leaves for a second layer but to make them more opaque but I'm I'm fine with the way they are. So I've loaded my brush with the white and I'm just gonna undercoat that strawberry and making sure I go over top of where the leaves are. And then basically I proceed as I did before and just paint the strawberry on there. I could even go in and shadow right now while that's drying the leaves to give it some dimension to make it set it behind the strawberry. I don't have my brush loaded properly. Okay, 
a little bit darker right there along the edge. I'll do it along the other side as well. My paint's just drying so fast on my palette paper. Just a little bit of shadow. Okay. I painted it and I didn't hit record. Sorry. What I did was I had loaded my brush with the Cardinal and the Engine Red like that, and then I dipped into Berry Wine just to give it a little more depth of color on one side, just to give it a little darker color, and then I painted that side. Then I reloaded, which will kind of blend out some of that Berry Wine with the engine and the Cardinal, and then I'm just coming back. Now the Cardinal's along the outside, the engine's along the inside, and then I just kind of fill it in there. So you see how it has a little bit of shading on that far side. That's just another way you can add a little more dimension to the strawberries. You could also go all the way around with just that touch of berry wine, but I wanted it just on the one side. So I'll let that dry and then we will recoat it to give it some opacity before we put the hull on, the little top leaves. So here we're going to go with the second coat on this one. And I have my Cardinal, my Engine Red, double loading my 12 flat, dipping the one corner again into the Berry Wine. And I'm going to come around this edge. I'm going to go load more of the Cardinal and Engine, and that kind of offloads the Berry Wine. And I could have, you know, wiped off my brush too, but it didn't need to. So there we have it. The second coat looks like it's good and, and as opaque as I want it. Now I'm going to let it dry and paint the leaves on. I double loaded my liner brush with the two colors. I have the dark green and the light green and I just kind of ran it into the dark green and then just touched a bit into the light green and it puts both colors into the brush. And then I'm just going to lightly, oops, it's got a little bit too much. You could always add a touch of water because you want it just to be thin, thin paint so that you can make tiny little lines. And you see how it's got both colors in there? It's probably easier for many rather than doing the dark and then the light highlight, but whoops, see too much and I didn't wasn't watching what I'm doing. So usually I have a Q-tip handy, but I don't, so I'm going to just dab that up and not worry about it. Let me also see, you could also go in with a wet brush. Let me rinse out my brush. And I have water on it, and you can kind of just go in there and scrub it up. Dry off my brush, scrub a little more, and that's how you fix it. So I'll go in, reload my brush, make sure I'm not too heavy handed. I don't know if that's dry yet, it might not be dry yet. Ideally, you wait till it's dry. Oops, too much again. Almost did the same thing. That's what happens when you get in a hurry. There you go. And there are the seeds for that strawberry. And there you have your hand-painted strawberries on your board, ready for some lettering if you like, or what have you, or just leave it plain. It's up to you. Well, thank you for watching this video.